Hi everyone. Today we will start from the very basics. So in this project we will be uh, configuring the general purpose input output pins which are basically GPIO pins and uh, we will uh, see how to configure them as output pins. So let's get started. So first of all we will create a new project. So we go into the C directory, we go in the NRF SDK where we created uh, extracted our SDK. We go into the examples. We go into peripheral. And in peripheral we open the Blinky. Uh, this would be our first project. So uh, we will copy this one. Right click to copy. And paste it into my projects folder. Make sure the directories have the same level. So here we are using NRF 52832. So we will open PCA 10040, which is our board. Just open the blank. Go into the SES folder. Open Blinky PCA. So in this project, uh, we don't need uh, all of this code. So I'm going to delete this code. We don't need this boards.h. We will see it later on. So to configure the general purpose input output pins, which are GPIO pins. So well, we, uh, we have to configure them as output pins. We have to include nrf underscore gpio dot h okay so now we can uh, directly configure any pin as output pin so remember we have uh, 32 pins on the board and we can configure any pin as output pin and I have uh, created a small diagram for the circuit so Let's configure the pins and on my board the pin connected with an LED is pin number 17. So we will configure the pin 17 as output pin. To configure a pin as output pin we will write a function which is nrf underscore gpio underscore config output cfg output. So this would be our function and here inside this function we will put the pin number so let's define it here Hash define. Uh, let me call this pin LED and uh, make it 17 right here LED so this configures the pin as output Okay, next we create a while loop. So to turn on an LED, we will use a function which is nrf underscore gpio underscore pin. Underscore set. So to output uh, of a logic one value to a pin, we have to use a function which is nrf underscore gpio underscore pin and set. Here we will mention the pin number which is LED. And so this is uh, for setting logic 1 on pin 17 and uh, to give a delay we will use nrf underscore delay function and uh, we will give the delay in milliseconds so let's give it 500 milliseconds delay and to turn off the LED we will use nrf underscore gpio underscore pin underscore clear 
So this function sets the pin to logic 0. zero on pin 17 so here I'm just going to give it some delay and uh, it's done control plus s to save click on build and the build is completed so once the project is built uh, make sure the USB is connected click on the target connect J-Link and uh, now we are going to erase the device and then we will download so as you can see the LED D1 is blinking uh, with a 500 milliseconds delay if I change the delay to 100 control plus s to save build connect erase and download now you can see the LED is blinking faster because I have changed the delay so there is another function I would like to mention which is uh, helpful in this situation so let's consider we are going to use another LED so I'm going to create uh, another LED LED 2 and uh, it's on pin 18 it's uh, connected on pin 18 I have to use the same function just put the LED 2 here now for blinking the LED 2 I'm going to use another function which is nrf underscore gpio underscore pin underscore toggle so what this function does is it reverses the pin pins output so if it's uh, turned on it's going to turn it off and if it's turned off it's going to turn it on so I'm going to put LED2 here and uh, this time we are not going to give uh, any delay because this delay after 200 milliseconds this LED is going to blink so in the first loop it's going to turn it on if it's turned off and uh, on the second loop it's going to turn it off if it's turned on okay let's save it control s build connect erase download so here you can see the both of the LEDs are blinking one LED is blinking at 200 milliseconds delay and uh, the other LED is blinking at 100 milliseconds delay so if you are curious about finding what's happening behind the scene uh, just right click and go to the definition to see what's going uh, behind these functions here you can see it's just uh, setting up the pin and then it's passing it to another function so basically the SDK is doing all the uh, hard work behind the scenes so you don't have to worry about all the stuff and so you just configure them as output or we can easily use this function to manipulate the output on each pin so guys if you want to change uh, any pin you can just easily change the pin number from here and then save it control plus s to save click on the build then go to target connect erase and download and here you can see I have changed the pin number so you can see the third LED is blinking now so these uh, pins are same for the Nordix official development kit so if you are using the official development kit the results are going to be similar and also guys I have created a small a small circuit diagram so it's easily understandable so basically you just have to connect the ground pin with the ground of the SDK you have to connect a resistor in series with the LED and uh, then to connect it to the respective pin also I have uh, created a small cheat sheet in this cheat sheet I have mentioned the functions so be sure to check the link in the description and download it and give it a try
and you can use any other pins as well for example I want to use uh, pin number 27 so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change this and control plus s save build tools connect erase and download and I'm going to connect uh, another LED to see it, if it's working so here you can see uh, the LED is blinking and I have connected it with the pin 27 so that's it guys and I hope so you like the tutorial and uh, please subscribe to my channel see you in the next video thank you very much